guys, Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Aqua Ultraviolet Classic UV Sterilizer. A compact UV solution with an easy to understand broad approach to sterilization. And it also comes in white. There are a number of ways that reefers battle unwanted organisms in the home aquarium, like algae, bacteria, or even parasites. And despite UV being one of the most effective methods for decades now, being widely used in the commercial setting, it's just more recently that we're seeing home aquarists adopt this for their reefs. As more and more reefers begin to understand how to use UV sterilizers for things like ick and parasite management, or as prevention or part of a remedy for tough to beat algal or bacterial issues like dinos or cyano, the more demand there has been for information on the differences between UV sterilizer brands so that we can decide for ourselves which might be best for our individual needs. Aqua Ultraviolet is one of the most popular options available and has been in the UV game for more than four decades, creating UV sterilizers for use across multiple industries, including aquaculture and food and beverage on the commercial side, to aquariums and ponds for home use. They're simple in construction, well-built, and they're made in the USA. Their classic series is an inline sterilizer. Like many sterilizers, it features a clear cap that will glow while your UV lamp is on so you know the bulb is doing its job. The twist cap at the top of the sterilizer is easy to grip and turn, so accessing the quartz sleeve for maintenance is easy. In the same fashion, the quick release T-connections are very easy to take apart so you can remove the entire sterilizer from the system when it's time to do maintenance. In the box, you'll find the 15 watt classic UV sterilizer, 15 watt power supply, 15 watt UV lamp, two three quarter inch barb fittings with pre-installed Teflon tape and two reducing bushings. A quick note though, models that have an internal wiper are not suitable for salt water. The wiper will rust over time and break down into the system, which is not a good thing. And that is why you do not see the wiper models on the BRS website. Before we assemble this sterilizer, a word of caution. UV rays from UV sterilizers can be very harmful to your eyes and skin. You should never plug in the UV sterilizer before you fully assembled it and installed it on your system. You do not under any circumstances want to look directly at the UV bulb when it's on. The only safe way to check if the UV bulb is working is through that little window at the top of the UV sterilizer. It's really important to remember that this is designed to destroy things. Be safe. Setup is simple. Start by installing the bushings onto the sterilizer, then installing the barbs into the bushings. Next, you'll want to stick the bulb inside of the sterilizer, hook the bulb up to the power supply. Next, it's just a matter of grabbing some tubing and hooking it up to a properly rated pump. You could also put it on the manifold from your return pump, but I highly recommend a flow meter so you can dial in that flow rating just right. I'll also say that personally, I'd probably take off the pre-installed white Teflon tape and replace it with some higher quality plumber's tape. It's not 100% necessary, but that's, that's just what I would do. If you wanna hard plumb the sterilizer into your system, you'll need to pick up some three quarter inch male thread to slip fittings to get the job done. If you're tight on space, the Classic Series are a really good option. They have a smaller body than the comparable wattage Pantera sterilizers, so they do squeeze into those snug spots a little bit easier. Aqua Ultraviolet sterilizers are also geared towards hobbyists that want easy instructions for a broad approach to sterilization. For example, an 8-watt sterilizer is rated for sterilizing saltwater aquariums up to 70 gallons, with a minimum flow rating of 214 gallons per hour to reach their less aggressive recommended dose of 90,000 milliwatts per centimeter squared. Meaning as long as you're close to but under that 214 gallon per hour rating, you know you're going to be effectively managing parasites in your 70 gallon tank. But if you're all about commercial grade performance and prefer more aggressive sterilization, then Pentair might be a better option as their ratings take a dose of 180,000 milliwatts per centimeter square into consideration, while also providing more specific instructions on how to eradicate various organisms. Keep in mind though, for most hobbyists, the Aqua Ultraviolet sterilizers perform well. They're a little bit more affordable and they're a little easier to fit, especially if you're looking for an easy to install hang-on option, which they also have available. Although purely cosmetic, I can also appreciate the fact that these sterilizers come in both black and white. So you can kind of match it to your system. Maybe you have a white stand and you want it to meld into that stand a little bit easier when you open the doors instead of seeing this big chunky sterilizer hanging down. Because let's face it, they're not the smallest pieces of equipment. So yeah, I can dig being able to choose the color that's gonna blend in best. It's nice. 
I mentioned earlier that reefers are just now really starting to appreciate the benefits of a UV sterilizer, but it's really important to decide what you want the sterilizer to do for your system since how you set it up will change what it's most effective at managing. To demystify that for you, I've got Ryan right here with all the info so you can set it up the way you need to set it up for your goals. Not my goals. My goals might be different than yours. My goal is not to burn my eyeballs. I've seen it happen.